Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Croc Master and Fiona. It comes in that typical deluxe style packaging we get with the Classified Series. We get the beautiful artwork that's on this package. And then on the other side, we have the file card. Croc Master is 38 in the Classified Series. And then on the back, we have the whole new image with added on characters. And it looks spectacular. But let's go ahead and get Croc Master and Fiona out of their package. So starting off with accessories from Fiona, we get a baby alligator looking awesome with tons of little sculpted in details in this tiny little piece. We got some painted teeth, not done super well, but good enough. We got a yellow painted eye with the little slits and we got some painted underbelly, just a really well done baby alligator. Continuing with Fiona's babies, she has one more little baby alligator and it's an albino alligator. Teeth are painted, the eyes are orange with the little black slits. And uh, has a little bit of color on the snout. Just a really, really well done looking alligator. Like the texture on these guys. And they're super small. Here we have another accessory for Fiona and Croc Master. They're sort of both. Because it's Fiona's collar with some spikes looking really nice. Um, and then it has the chain that hooks to it. And it's one solid piece. And it's angled. It's got the handle and everything. I wish this was actually a like a real plastic like chain linked chain like you can move it around because it's it's weird that it has like it's pre-posed in one direction and there's not much movement you're going to get out of this thing it just it sort of can bend and stuff but it doesn't feel natural here we have an up close look at fiona fiona looks amazing the sculpt work on this is a beautiful beautiful piece the head sculpt is nice uh, one thing that does get me is i feel like the eyeball on this is a little bit small for an alligator like that's a tiny tiny little eye um but i do love the head sculpt the teeth are painted painted pretty good a little bit of over paint on one tooth and on the other side the gums but the nice thing is the articulation in the head when you open it up it's got the jaw meat looking really really nice and inside the mouth looking really nice and you can open it up further but it starts gapping you can see a little bit of gaps in the meat and back there but done really, really well. So articulation wise, you know, the head can is on a ball. So you get all this range of motion just in the head. The arms get uh, they get the movement like this. There's a disc hinge in there. We get a little bit of and look at this. Look at the belly, the belly of this bad boy. And I don't understand this. This is either that's how they had to get into to do some parts, but it's squishy. It's squishy right there. Don't understand why. But getting back to the... I got distracted by the paint in the underbelly. But the the feet can sort of move. And they're on disc hinges as well. That works for the back. You get the ball here. So Fiona can hula hoop all she wants. All day long. But I mean, look at that. Look at that range of motion. That's so nice. Back legs. Uh, these ones don't... Yeah, they. Oh, they're on balls. So as you can see, when I moved it, you could see the ball in there. So you don't get the disc hinge, but you still get that type of motion out of the leg. This pivot has the disc hinge as well. Then we got the tail. The tail, you can get the bend like so. You can get it to bend like so. But when you do it like that, you got gappage. I wish this was a little bit further in. And I know the leg mechanics probably made it a little bit more of a challenge. But uh, yeah, if you over bend it, let me zoom out here so you can see it. So if you over bend this to get an angle like that, you're going to expect to see gaps. So if you're going to do that, you'd want to pose, pose it up like so, so there's no gaps on this side. This is all ball joint here, and there's bendy wire. The bendy wire stops right at the end of my thumb here. Here we have Fiona showing off her lovely collar. And see, this is, this is just, ah, I, I don't like it. It's almost like I want to get this like cut out and put a proper chain because it'd be nice to just have her running around with just her collar without the chain always attached and be in position. But this pretty much slides over the head. It has its like own little spot that sort of fits in there. It feels like it fits nice and snug, but it should technically go further back because it's it's weird 
how they positioned it because of the fat neck and everything. But still a really nice, really nice looking alligator, man. I, I love it. And then this just can easily slide in and out. And that's another reason I don't care for this chain because it's so like thick and it, ugh. Crockmaster does come with a meat hook, more of like a feeding hook for Fiona. It's done really well. It's got the little nut and bolt on there looking really cool for the handle, but it's all casted in silver plastic. Crockmaster comes with a boot knife and it's very customized to Crockmaster because it's got the alligator skin handle and it just looks really, really nice. But the alligator skin is definitely, you know, something that Crockmaster would have. Here we have the iconic bullwhip and... It's surprising that they didn't do brown, but I guess they wanted to do the green here. Um, it looks good. It's pre-posed. This thing would have been great to have a wire in it so you can get some uh, good poses out of it. But granted, when it gets to this thin part, you know, the wire would be a challenge. But it's all pre-posed, pre and that's a bummer, but still cool that we got the the whip. Now, Crockmaster does come with a sidearm. It's pretty much a hand cannon. The handle could have been painted green because it's done out of that whole alligator skin as well. But you need something like this because if he's got to put one of them down, you got to have a bullet that can actually penetrate their thick skin. And uh, this gun is just mean looking and it does have the hole for a muzzle flash. Here we have an up close look at Crockmaster. And if you're an OG G.I. Joe collector, you're going to love this figure because it looks very, very similar to the OG Crockmaster. I love the sculpt work in the mask, the red eyes, his uh, rebreather looking very, very nice. We've got the sculpted in ears, so you can tell it looks like he's wearing a mask. Just all that sculpted in detail. Even looks like he has uh, some sewn up spots on the top of his mask where it either got slashed or bit. But very, very cool. And even a cool texture throughout. He has a hose that goes to the back. All the way back to this canister. Now, the canister unplugs. It's a backpack piece. And in the mouth. You can just sit there, wiggle it out. Be gentle. Boom, he doesn't have it anymore. So you can actually remove the whole hose and, and tank off his back. His back is sculpted very nicely. Representing that... Uh, alligator or crocodile skin that he's wearing looking nice it's all in that gray plastic they added paint to the front and i got a little bit extra red paint on mine you can see a little splotch up there a little bit of uh looks like almost like a scratch mark here but i'm okay with it because i mean he's wearing you know the skin of an alligator or crocodile the nice cobra logo up there looking really really awesome and then his arms are crazy and ginormous they're pretty much gung-ho arms got the silver gauntlet got some gloves same big old arms a different gauntlet those gloved hands looking really cool and a lot of this like i said it's all this great green plastic that they used um and then we got the crotch piece with the eye looking really cool i love how the orange sort of fades into that yellow did a really good job on the silver just a really really nice belt He's got like the two textures on the pants because this part down is pretty much Destro. And uh, he does have the scales going down. He's got the holster for his pistol done in that reptile skin. Same knee pads as Destro. Then we get into his boots, which are the alligator crocodile skin boots. Same thing with the sheath for his knife. Diving into articulation, the head is on the disc ball joints. Uh, and the ball down at the bottom too. So, it's, it's, I mean, that's as much. He's not really getting much. No, it's not even a disc. It's a double ball. So he can look up that far. He can look down quite a bit, but not much looking up. But he does get plenty of attitude, full 360. You know, what, what he would need with head movement. Arms go all the way up. He's doing... He's doing like a T here and a Y here. A little bit more articulation out of this arm. We get the bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. Wrist rotation. And then there is bend in the wrist. Butterfly joints. They're there, but it's not really... They're not doing much. Yeah, they're not... Yeah, butterfly joints, this one's working better than the other one, but they don't do much. 
Let's get his arms out of here. He has ab crunch. Gets him down this far. A little bit of gappage. Leaning back quite a bit. A little bit of gappage, but it's... We need this. We need to crunch down more of this versus... I don't know. How often do you guys crunch your guys backwards? I mean, I guess if they're getting hit, but I feel like we need more crunch forward with a lot of figures. We do got the ball waist, so he can swivel. He can do the whole hula hoop motion. Legs drop down hips. Could do this to the full fan dam right here. And then uh, we get the thigh cut up here. Double jointed knee. Again, destro legs. Boot cut where the boot's at. Ankle bend and pivot. When it comes to this Croc Master and Fiona 2 pack, it really pays homage to the original figure and it does it pure justice. It, this figure is phenomenal. It's a beautiful figure. They're great great setup. You can get some great photos out of it. I do have my gripes, but you know, as you can see, the chain even though it's not your normal chain link. I wish we had two different chains. I wish it would have unplugged here. We had two different types, but this chain being the way it is, it does give some support to the figure when you're getting them posed up, but it can also be a little bit of a hindrance, but the whole set, the duo looks, they, they look amazing. It's a beautiful set. Here we have some size comparison. We got the Cobra Officer, Croc Master, and Chuck Liddell, Gung Ho, and Gung Ho looks taller. The head is probably because the hat is so high up, but also because Croc Master's boots are a pain in the rear. This, let me let me get these guys out of the way. Like the boots have a bend to them. They're like sort of like bent going forward. And he keeps wanting to lean back. Even though I try to balance him forward. Like he stands that way. I guess it's all right. But you know, so you guys can see he is still slightly shor shorter. Let me get in the center of the camera. There we go. Shorter than Gung Ho. Like this Gung Ho is ginormous. And even if we take the, the hat off, you guys can really see the size comparison. And I forgot to tell you guys, it was Bring Your Child to Work Day at Cobra HQ. So Croc Master has his OG son with him. And you can really see the side-by-side -side comparison. I mean, he has the gun holster on the side. Gun holster, the knife, knife. I mean, they, they basically gave us an updated version of of the OG figure, even little baby Fiona right there. It's just, it's awesome. So in the end, the classified team knocked this figure out of the park. The two pack is phenomenal. You really feel like you got your money's worth. The baby alligators are a nice touch. It is a solid, solid release. I can't say it enough. So if you're a Joe fan, it's a must have. If you're an OG Joe fan, it's a must have because they pay so much homage to the original figure. It's a phenomenal, fun figure and that's really where it's at you got to have fun with your figures when you're collecting them and that sums up my unboxing and review of croc master and fiona if you guys are enjoying my content hit that like button if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button so you can help the channel evolve and grow hit the silver bell notification if you want to know when i post up a new video and make sure you guys check out toyco toys and collectibles the website should be going live any day now so check it out down below but there's also the pre-order group it's a facebook toyco pre-order group that keeps you in the know with a lot of the imports like mofx sh figure arts storm collectibles go check it out it's down below save yourself the hassle of paying for that secondary market price it's gonna be painful on the wallet if you do so go check out toy coast pre-order group so you can save some money and i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day